Hi guys, hello, Mary Me everybody. It's Michelle Marie 20, and today I'm going to show you the PP314 monochrome camera. I bought this camera a couple of years ago when I first started out. We never really used it much because of one reason. Um, the equipment that we were going to use it with didn't work well out too well because it lacked the color burst signal. Mm -hmm. Well, the UVC dongle does work with it, and so I thought that why not show you what it could do. Now, this is being recorded with the format or with the uh, iMovie, so this is a little bit, um, a little bit better than some. It's a, it's a pretty good 570 TBL. It's camera. It does have IR infrared reception ability, but we have a IR cut filter on it so that it will not be affected by the incandescent lights. We don't want the light, the thing to have the picture blow out because of the, the uh, color. So the choice of lens that we're using here is the standard um, mirror focal. Uh, I used the mirror focal because I'm really close to the camera right now and I didn't want to have me chopped off and, and you not being able to see me. So I figured we will show you this camera with this very focal lens. It's the one we use on the um, the PAL camera, which is, this is not, this is NTSC. This is not PAL. Um, so, although really, when you hear the term NTSC in PAL, usually it refers to the color signal, not usually to the monochrome. Um, it is sometimes known as a, what is it? Anti signal um, format. Uh, basically, what it is is this encoder is recording in the 640 by 480. Um, it's getting it in at 29.97 uh, megahertz per second. Yeah, okay, I gotta let the cat out. Let him out real quick. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good right there. And, okay, where is I? So this camera here is, um, is working pretty good. Um, the, um, in the video frame rate is 29.97, um, frame rate. Versus 25 for the PAL camera. The UVC dongle is only giving capturing it at 640 by 480. So it may look a little bit squishy picture wise, but when you actually look at this thing on an actual color monitor or on a good CRT monitor, it's just a very clear picture to it. This just is not it, honey. Oh, okay. But here's the good news is that I can upload this picture. It is will not take as much bandwidth because it is monochrome. So when every time I upload a picture like this, uh, it'll be easier to do with. Now, likewise, I can switch between this and the other camera, and and that's what I would do in a normal situation. I would just leave it at the setting here. But uh, I wanted to show you, what, but let me just show some of you guys what these cameras look like because they are old school. They are not new school. So, let's get the color one out, which is the same basic shell. This is a Panasonic CP234, 234, I'm sorry. Here is where your, your lens goes, it uses mount C and CS mount lenses. You got on the back, you have your AC, 24 volts AC terminals, and you have your standard BNC connector on the color one. And on the monochrome camera, there's a gen lock connection. These cameras are pretty much plug and play. They don't have manual on-screen controls. You cannot tweak it on the camera anyway. You can tweak it on the uh, other system, but not on the camera. Okay. You can see here, the, oh, let's see what here. There's a little, this is a CCD sensor. And this is the bottom that you can mount the bracket on the top too. 
And um, both of these cameras are NTSC. Both of them run are kind of synchronized to the AC uh, 60 hertz line frequency. I don't think they would work good on PAL. Um, European countries. Um, they does have another mode, which is lane lock, which is associated with the mains. But we're not using that right now. I can't win this one, but uh, uh, this is maybe the reason to. <clears throat> Don't forget tomorrow, we will be having our live stream. Yeah, we're going to be using this camera for that. Why not? Well, here's why not. Because, first of all, here's why we are going to do it. This poor camera has been sitting in this drawer unused since I got it, pretty much. I did buy it about six years ago, and I never used it. So, I think it's time to get put this camera to work a little bit. Um, just because, you know, I have nothing else to do with it. So, I figure why not you stick a video of me and you. And so, second of all, is why not? Just like Dr. Johnny P. or WKRP in Cincinnati says, I dare to be different. Well, yes, I do. Um, I would like to be able to have multiple cameras, and this. Um, could be done with a regular mechanical video switch. Maybe if I set both cameras to line lock and and then I can you know, because the cameras could be synchronized to the AC means, they're both NTSC cameras, so yeah, it would probably be synchronized and you wouldn't get too much camera picture jump. Um, that's an idea. Right now I don't have that set right now to do it, but if I do, I will do it. Okay? Um... The Roland V4 um, video switcher would have been a godsend. However, unfortunately, I don't have one, so no V4 video switcher, so we're going to do it with this gear here. Um, for the time being, I want to thank you very much for watching this. I know it's kind of stupid, kind of boring, and didn't really take much. But tomorrow, we're going to be trying some new things. Um, I'm hoping that we'll have some guests on the show. I don't know if Dory's going to be here or not. She may be. Maybe she won't be. I don't know. But for right now, I thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering if the focus can get any better than this, it probably could if I really tweak it. It's pretty good now anyway. Um, and I'm getting good frame rates too, so... Um, that's great. All right. So I'll see you all guys on Sunday, July 23rd at 7 p.m. And I hope that you'll come. Bring your friends. Bring your friends' friends. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.